We all know that there was a mass extinction event on Earth about 65 million years ago or so that wiped out the dinosaurs. But did you know that about 19 million years ago, there was another catastrophic event that somehow wiped out 90% of shark diversity as well? So sharks have been around for about 400 million years, and that means that sharks existed long before the dinosaurs were extinct as well. So sharks have been around for a long time, and they survived that extinction event 65 million years ago. At least a lot of the species did. However, something else happened 19 million years ago that wiped out 90% of shark diversity. And that's very interesting to me because I'm afraid of sharks a little bit. I think they're scary and also really cool. It's kind of a love-hate thing with me. I love seeing them and I hate seeing them at the same time. I wouldn't want to see them if I was just randomly surfing or something like that. But in a controlled environment or on a documentary or something, I think they're really awesome creatures as well. So for me, this is interesting because there's already a lot of shark diversity, in my opinion, right now. However, that's just not the case. 90% of shark diversity has been wiped out, and it was as recently as 19 million years ago. So sharks existed before dinosaurs went extinct, and then they survived kind of that mass extinction event for the most part. And then 19 million years ago, something else happened where 90% of shark diversity got wiped out as well. And that's what this article from gadgets.ndtv is all about. And in honor of Shark Week coming up next month, I just wanted to read a little bit from this article about this event that catastrophically lowered the diversity of sharks on Earth. So it says, a new study has found that a single mysterious event about 19 million years ago wiped out nearly the entire population of sharks. Scientists behind the new research say that studying the shark teeth buried in deep sea sediment revealed that the current diversity among sharks is only a tiny remnant of a much larger variety that existed back then. They say that this unidentified major ocean extinction caused the reduction in shark diversity by over 70% and nearly a complete loss in total abundance. Now, the cause of this event remains a mystery, the scientists said. So researchers say that this single event led to the virtual disappearance of sharks from the open ocean sediments, declining in abundance by almost 90%. They added that the abrupt extinction was independent of any known global climate event. So we're not sure what happened, but all of a sudden, about 19 million years ago, a lot of shark species were completely wiped out. And this is very interesting. I wonder what happened. It sounds like it wasn't a climate event. So what else could it have been that could have, over the whole global ocean, eliminated so many shark species? I have no idea what that would be. It's very interesting. And then the article goes on to say that according to the research report published in the journal Science, modern shark forms began to diversify within two to five million years after the near extinction event, but they represent only a sliver of what sharks once were. And I have to say, for me, I think the most terrifying animals right now on Earth live in the ocean. And what this article is saying, that there were even more of these super powerful, sometimes scary animals in the oceans before this event. And so if you're scared to go surfing in certain places at certain times now, just imagine how much more scared you would be if there were even more kinds of sharks that you'd have to be worried about before this event 19 million years ago. A report in Life Science quoted Elizabeth Siebert or Seibert, I'm not sure how to say that, a postdoctoral fellow at Yale University's Institute for Biospheric Studies and co-author of the study as saying, sharks have been around for about 400 million years and they've weathered a lot of mass extinctions. Yeah. So they go on to say that this paper is just the beginning and that they hope it's going to be a really interesting next decade to figure out more about what happened at the time that caused this extinction among sharks. So you can add this to the list of unsolved mysteries. What caused this massive near extinction event for sharks about 19 million years ago? That is now a new unsolved mystery that we didn't know about before. So I wonder what it could be. It sounds like it wasn't the climate again, as we talked about. I have no idea what could cause something like this. And I also wonder, was it specifically just sharks or did it impact other creatures in the ocean as well? I'm not sure about that. 
And so this is interesting because it's now a new unsolved mystery. And I love unsolved mysteries, and I love even more working on solving them. So hopefully we'll start to get some new theories and test them and kind of see what happens over the next several years. And hopefully, you know, in another decade or so, we'll know more about what happened here. And I'm looking forward to kind of finding out what that is. And another thing that this study kind of brings up is our ideas about evolution and how we kind of generally think that evolution happens in a straight line from some kind of simple forms of life to more complex creatures, etc. And we all kind of know that that's not really true, but we still kind of tend to think in that linear way. And this just shows that over the course of millions and millions of years, a lot of stuff can happen. An asteroid can hit Earth and wipe out a lot of the populations of animals on Earth and plants and other living things. Or some mysterious thing can happen in the ocean that wipes out most of the shark species. And we never know what's going to happen over such a huge time scale. And that, of course, impacts the process of evolution. So new species emerge that maybe couldn't have existed before because now their predators are gone or whatever it is. And so kind of nature gets pushed and pulled in all kinds of different directions by these events. And I think that interplay is also very interesting. And that's another reason why I wanted to bring it up. So I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you enjoy Shark Week next month if you're into that sort of thing. I'm not super into sharks, but I really, really love them. I think they're powerful, interesting creatures. And I think they're very kind of powerful images for human beings. Uh, it represents kind of fear and death and power and all kinds of things for us. And so I think it's a very interesting topic for a lot of people, including me. And so if you want, every single morning at 7 a.m. Eastern, I'm posting a new video like this. I consider it to be kind of an intellectual piece of dark 80% chocolate that I'm offering you to have with your morning coffee or whatever it is that you do in the morning. Maybe you're getting ready for work or school and you just want to have this on and uh, just kind of talk about some topic that's at least mildly interesting. So if that sounds good for you, you can subscribe or you can just tune in every single morning. There will be a new video waiting for you Monday through Friday. I'm Jim Wolf, and I'll talk to you soon, assuming that humans don't go extinct anytime soon as well.